Dear friends, welcome to my video on how to let nature takes its course. Kindly click on the CC button for subtitles. Understanding the concept to let nature take its course means to allow things to unfold as they naturally would without interference. It's a nod to the idea that there's a natural flow to events and to life itself. Consider, for instance, the changing of seasons. No matter how much we might wish for the summer warmth to continue into October, or for the flowers of spring to bloom in winter, nature has its timeline, and there's a reason for it. Recognizing our limits one of the first steps in truly letting nature take its course is recognizing our own limitations. We can't change the weather, make someone fall in love with us, or force opportunities to arise. In trying to exert control over every situation, we're bound to end up frustrated and exhausted. In some scenarios, we might find that despite our best efforts, the outcome remains the same. Sometimes, accepting that there are things beyond our control and letting them play out naturally can be both liberating and more beneficial. Finding peace in uncertainty a big part of letting nature do its thing involves becoming comfortable with uncertainty. Think about it, the best moments in life are often the ones we didn't plan. The surprise encounters, the spontaneous trips, the unexpected lessons. Embracing uncertainty doesn't mean resigning ourselves to fate without any action on our part. It means understanding that while we can influence certain aspects of our lives, we can't control everything, and that's okay. It's in that space of not knowing that the magic often happens. Act, but don't overreach letting nature take its course doesn't imply passivity. It doesn't mean you shouldn't pursue your goals, dreams, or desires. It means you should act without attachment to the results. Work towards what you want, but understand that the final outcome might be different from what you envisioned, and sometimes, it might be better. It's like planting a seed. You water it, ensure it gets sunlight, and take care of it. But you can't dictate exactly how the plant will grow, which way its branches will turn, or precisely when the first bud will appear. Listening more nature is always speaking. Whether it's the rustling leaves indicating a change in weather or the natural instincts guiding us in making choices, there's always a message if we're willing to listen. Sometimes, we are so caught up in the noise of our thoughts, society's expectations, and the chaos of urban life that we fail to hear these messages. Taking time to really listen can guide us on when to act and when to step back and let things unfold on their own. Embracing the lessons when we force things, we often miss out on valuable lessons. By letting nature take its course, we give ourselves the opportunity to learn from experiences, even if they aren't what we'd initially hoped for. Consider relationships as an example. While it's natural to desire connection and companionship, forcing a relationship or trying to mold it into something it's not often leads to pain. Letting things naturally progress not only feels better but allows us to learn more about ourselves and our partner. Staying present in a society obsessed with what's next, staying in the present moment can be revolutionary. And it's in the present that we can truly let nature take its course. After all, nature operates in the now. Trees aren't worrying about the next season, they're just being trees. By staying present, we can better tune into the natural flow of things. We can more easily see when to act and when to pause. And we can truly appreciate the journey without being overly fixated on the destination. Nature's bigger picture lastly, remember that nature always has a bigger picture in mind. What may seem like chaos or a setback in the short term can lead to growth and new opportunities in the long run. When a forest fire occurs, it's easy to see only destruction. However, fires can also rejuvenate forests, clearing away the old and making way for new growth. In our lives, setbacks and challenges, when approached with the mindset of letting nature take its course, can similarly lead to unexpected opportunities and personal growth. Conclusion To let nature take its course is to embrace life with all its unpredictabilities. It's a dance between acting with intention and letting go of the need to control every outcome. And while it might feel counterintuitive in our modern, fast-paced world, this approach can lead to a deeper connection with ourselves, others, and the world around us. So, next time you're faced with a decision, an unexpected challenge, or even just a moment of doubt, take a deep breath, and consider letting nature take the lead. You might be surprised at where it takes you. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up. Thanks for your support.